So the new Holland CR11 Gold Edition. <laughs> yes, the Golden Tractor. Uh, let, let, let's take a look at it. As you can imagine, you're going to find it in the shop category of harvesters. Now, there is one option, and that's to have a short or a long pipe. So if you've got a big header, yeah, you might want to go for a long pipe. And it only adds two grand to an already <laughs> already hefty price of £740,000. Now, this has got a 775 horsepower engine, 18 mile an hour top speed, and 20,000 litre capacity. But, and I'll say this as a but... If we come out of there and go up to the standard CR11, uh, we've got the same engine, the same top speed, and the same 20,000 litre capacity, albeit with the same price. Well, to be fair, you've got uh, you've got caller tracks, which is extra. You don't have caller tracks on the gold edition, so it is just the wheeled version. Mm, same price, same capacities. Why go for the gold one? Well, this is where uh, I'd say it's all more subjective because you've got the angle column sports tyres. You know, you've got the white walls on the uh, right, white writing, and I put my teeth in on the side there. And it's a gold tractor. It, it, let's face it, it's a gold tractor. What's not to like about that? I mean, apart from that, it, everything else is exactly the same as the uh, as the standard version. You know, it. it it, it is what it is. It's just a gold tractor. I mean, you're paying the same price in the shop. It's got the same capacities, so you're not losing out on anything. So in that sense, you know, you go for whichever one you want. Because, yeah, if there's a price difference, you might be thinking, yeah, okay, maybe you don't go for the gold version because, you know, gold versions generally are more expensive because they're made of gold. I don't think it's actually made of gold because that would be horrendously heavy, but... You know, gold-plated stuff is generally more expensive than just standard metal. That being said, it, it looks like a sports harvester. You know, with, with the white writing on the tyres, it just looks like it's ready to ah, rip down a drag strip or something. I mean, it does look good. And obviously this came with, I'm pretty sure it came with the collector's edition. Now, I didn't get it as part of the pre-order bonus, so yeah, it's definitely got to be the collector's edition. But you can get it with a little purchase from from their website i mean i bought it for 79 pence so that's less than a pound so whatever that is in your local currency i mean it, it, let's face it you are just paying for the paint job it, it doesn't do anything else other than look good 79 pence it's it's not a lot in the grander scheme of things i mean nowadays you can't even buy a chocolate bar in the uk for less than a pound but you can go and get a gold harvester that you can use every day of the year if you wanted to. So I'd say in that sense, it's a bit of a bargain. I mean, entirely up to me. Some people might say, oh, gold tractor, that's very garish. That's very, you know, out there. It's sort of like, you don't go for gold stuff like that. There's, there's a reason why there's not really a gold tractor in real life sort of thing. But it's entirely up to you. I think it's just days that you can go and get something like this such a cheap price i mean you might as well i mean it's 79p you're not going to get much for that anyway oh fair enough 